The Twilight Zone, 1959, Season 5, Episode 18, Black Leather Jackets. We lock this door with a key imagination. Beyond is another dimension, dimension of sound, dimension of sight, dimension of mind. We're moving into a land of both shadow and substance for things and ideas. You just cross over into the Twilight Zone. You know who they are. And oh, I don't know. Train strike from this neighborhood. You stay away from them, young lady. Is that, is that it, boys? Yeah, man, that's it. Ain't you got any furniture, any chairs or rugs, anything, man? I said, that's it. Okay, man, okay. The work, we've got work to do. Three strangers alive, alive in a small town. Three men in black leather jackets in an empty rented house. I call them Stephen, Scott and Fred. The names are not important. They're mentions of all three men on microcircles. Lead us into the twilight zone. What's wrong with the TV? It's just, not just the TV, the, light, all the lights, house are flickering. Did you leave something on the kitchen? Dishwasher, anything like that? No dishes, they're all stacked. TV's still off. Might be the aerial spire. It stick loose as something once before. I doubt it meant would affect all the lights in the house. It's easy enough to check. It seems all right. Martha, come here for a moment. Look, there wasn't that, that there was that wasn't there. There this morning, no. The Anderson took their antenna with them. They moved just on luck. What ham radio operators? You know what they do on radio? Tell the reception? Daddy, yeah, Ali Lane. I don't know what's the matter, but I listened to my radio while I was studying. All of a sudden it began picking up three weird voices. Ham radio operators. Is there anything we can do about it? We can make sure we've got a license to operate. Well, do you think we should, Stu? Those men are kind of threatening somehow. Hello, anybody at home? Good evening. I'm Stu Tillman. Live over next door. Been having a little trouble over here with the electricity. Fades on and off. Now you boys wouldn't happen to be ham radio operators, do you? That's a funny big daddy. Want to know what's so funny? Who are you, boys, anyway? Oh, monsters, daddy O. Come from out of space. Take us to your leader. Just a minute call, daddy O. Just sent to with my ray gun. Now, wait. Now you look at this cat dance. Now, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm going to get the police with you, fellas. I'm going to call my lawyer. I'm going to be sorry for what you did. You did. That you did. You did this. Forget it. Jews, you what is What happened to you? To those men, what are you, they done to nothing. He didn't do anything. Well, what are you going to dance about? Toes and inference? Oh, he wasn't them. They're nice boys. They're three very nice boys. Oh, hey, wait for me. Damn you, trouble. Do you see that bus? Pulled right away. It's a game with them. They like to make people suffer. Why did they do that? Beats me. You think you're lucky stars. Tend to depend on buses to get around. Stars are lucky. You know the old expression? I understand about the constellations of Nature of the galactic structure. I mean, they a big star, but they're lucky. Well, I guess, yeah, so are you. One minute you sound like a professor, next minute you're talking like a bit neck. You want to need a ride? Going to, not going back to the library, you could. And me on the back seat? Why not? You ready? Yes. I told you just hold her, stay away from those boys. Mr. Bass is right out for the ride. I'm sure it's all over. I would have driven her. But you're not a handsome young man. You're not a handsome man, man, the might so good, dear. Don't see any murdering. Well, it's an ever side to park. You got me here so quickly. I thought I'd walk. Would you like to walk? Sure. Pretty, isn't it? Mm. You know, this is kind of a special place for me. I come here sometimes. I try to figure things out. Like what? Well, for one thing, you know, you live next door to me a week. You never said hello. Hello, my name is Elaine. Elaine, my name's Scott. Where do you come from? I mean, where do you live? Before you let me move next door, a long way from here. Where? Oh, no doubt you've heard, never heard of it. Could be geography. One of my worst subjects. Have you finished school? Yes, ten years ago. Ten years ago? You're not that old. I'm older than you think. Maybe people don't show their age. Well, my family's the same way. You know, my grandma lived up to 90. And you'd think of 60. Till the day she died. What's the matter? Never seen them anything so brittle. Thank you. I guess I'd better be going before the library closes. It was not as late as I thought it was. Tell me more about yourself. Be here, be here. You're not, you got delayed. Not just in excuses and not be at ease. Where's your brother? You no longer trust our brother. 
What's he done? Formed in touch with one of the other pe- other people. What kind of touch? I'm not sure yet. He was a young girl, in spite of our olders. Seemed around him. We've been in touch with all units. All unit, all unit, all, been in touch with all units. The second wave with any necessity. Killed us with hand. The landing of the third would be key position. Throughout the country, excellent. The people are not are suspicious. Not a bit. It's too racist, as our search told us. Fear of breed. Trying to keep or kill and given to killing hatred. Make you all greed and cruelty to one another. Reverse will not be well, could do well without them. Receive our instructions for the final move. A few days. Once again, your brother failed to report. Ignored our orders. Spent the past five days to come to the gal. We've seen it. Now there's no other choice. Proceed without him. Fate is his own making. Where are you from, Scott? Does it really matter? I don't suppose so. Just that it's so different from anyone else I know of. No. Bad not work, really. Do you like me, don't you? Well, you know what, Scott? Very well. Very much. Yes, and very much. Do you know the word love? Well, of course, silly. That's an odd question. What's all about it? Don't you read your newspapers, your magazines, listen to your television programs, your radio, would you have? We, Scott? Who is we? Well, that doesn't matter. The planet is filled with hate, I mean. Hate, violence, mistrust. Don't see how anyone as nice as you survived this long. Certainly no different from anyone else. I haven't been seen a single port on anyone like you. Port, Scott, you talk talking riddles. Time seems to make me feel like an insect on a microscope. Please, I'd like to go home. I'm very sorry, but I feel so you've been lying to me. I don't know why or what you're trying to hide. I know you're not what you seem. What if I'm not? You think you're not at any age to position to judge me? Any of them, please, I would like to go home. I'm sorry, Elaine, it's my fault. Bet you too much of home. Done too much of telling you the truth. What have you been doing the last few days? You say when I sent you a ship for food last night when you were supposed to be on guard. You think I don't know? I've been watching you every minute. I told you before came you before you came you were too young. Listen your head. Found in situations you couldn't handle. I told you I'd done no harm. Don't tell a thing, no. You're get, getting a chance to. We're too close to finishing this mission. From here to the end, long to the ride. Just long for the ride, report. I tell you, Unit 59, reporting in. Test is unqualified to test, good. Unit 70 through 100, but the same results. What is the time estimate to reservoir? Proxy 24 hours of bacteria to contaminate water. It is soon before the sea results. Within 30 hours, you should witness 15 cent fatalities. And to make total approximation. The 40 hours will complete the examination. Have you coordinates with other units in the area? We have. We have 29 bacterial units carrying water supplies in this state, which will easily reach complete population saturation. Two days very well. Begin operation evasion. Phase two at once. Scott, it doesn't matter anymore. Scott, come down. We've got to see you. It's so late. It's important. All right. Scott, you make a mistake, Scott. You people aren't worth it, Scott. Elaine, you've got to get away from here. What do you mean, get away from me? What are you in danger? Don't understand. Something terrible will happen. Where many people die? I'll take you somewhere where you're safe. You'll be frightening me. What's going to happen? I can't tell you that. It won't happen. It doesn't matter if I did. I have to be, leave right now. Are you frightening me to run away with you? It's me. 24 hours every man, every woman. Every man, woman, cat, dog, everything. Our lives are going to be dead. Oh, Scott, please don't. Oh, Scott, don't please. Not just a town. Over your country, or the world, my well, Scott, it's your world too. No, it isn't. What do, do you, what do, do you do? What do you, Scott? Who are you? Came from out there, Aileen, from these stars. Fairs of us on this planet now. We need space. We come to get our colonies. God, you can't be serious. I have bacteria units in every country, planet for months. Every unit is enough germs to poison and drink and supply. Entire world population. You walk with you to your friend's house. You better left, let them call you a doctor. No, you've got to listen to me, Scott, please. I love you, but you're not well. Lane, all right, Lane. What's it all this all about? Oh, Daddy, don't know what to do. Begin by telling me what you're go, doing outside. God said you see me. I think he's lost his mind. He never liked this before. He's also raving. What did he say? Crazy things. It's a spaceman. They're trying to king over the earth. We're all going to die. Better get him some help, Sheriff. Deputy Sheriff Harper, no Sheriff's Holly's on vacation. This is his deputy. Well, Stuart Lieutenant, I live at 11575 Amanda, Amanda Drive. The young man next door to me think maybe a little mentally disturbed. 
I feel he ought to be picked up before he can harm anyone. Himself to hurt someone or somebody else. What makes you think he's hardly deserved? It's getting my daughter with men. With Mars stories, he claims he's part of the invasion force is going to take over. Well, for such silly thing. All right, Mr. Tillman. I know exactly what to do. Thank you for calling. Yes, please listen to me. You may speak. What are we doing is wrong. We should save these creatures, not stomach them. True, that may murder and hurt one another. They suspect, they suspect of reasonable hate and prejudice for those are only brutes who find them in any ways. Mostly people have the capacity to love. I know our research proves that. Your world, your world of anger, frightened people. I tell you that they learn love for their God and teach it to their children. They know love that they hear and hate. I know you need to kill them. It's too late. Not if you order them to stop. Are you a defector? A traitor of the young people? No, I'm not a traitor. Tell them, yes, Dr. Tove. Tove, I don't come in, Ma, for daily. Your daughter, my daughter, Ellen. Miss Tillman, how do you do? Hello, go ahead, tell them my name. I don't know your father, said the boy, would be disturbed. How do you say that? By Lane Lane, there's no more time. Come on, son. Tell us what about it. All about it. Don't listen to him. One of us. With the aunts, of aunts units, of aunts units. Kind of the aunt units, son. They told me you were ill, son, so I took the social precautions. No, no, please don't fight them, son. So you make it difficult for us, all of us. Don't worry, folks. I'll we'll take good care of him. Someday I think it. I'm sure I'll thank you. Quote of American family, even invasion throughout space. We know it's merely fiction. Yet that think twice we dry your clerk's glass of water. Find out for your local reservoir, possibly, if it came direct to you from the Twilight Zone. I think I need to go through.